Hello, my first graders. Today we are working in our math book on lesson 8.8. .8. That's page 479 in the math book. Okay, so if you're not on page 479, pause the video, find that page, hit play when you're ready. <clears throat> All right, so today, boys and girls, we are going to be working on word problems. Okay, so we're, where we're thinking about what do we need to do? Are we adding or subtracting? Okay, and then we're also going to need to solve our problems by drawing and showing our work. Okay, so we're going to use what we've learned in the other lessons to help us with our lesson today. So we're actually going to skip this first problem. Okay, so we're going to skip that. If you want to watch something that's similar to this, you can check out, remember that talking bird introduction video that's in our math resources. I'm going to turn to the next page and here is where we're going to start. It says draw and write to solve. Explain your reasoning. All right. So let's look at number one. Aisha picks 60 blueberries to make a pie. Then she picks 12 more to eat. How many blueberries does Aisha pick? So let's look at that again. She picks 60 blueberries to make a pie. Then she picks 12 more to eat. So she's picking 60 then she's picking 12 more. What kind of problem is that? A plus problem, right? She picks 60 and then we find that she picks more. So it's a plus problem. How many blueberries does Aisha pick? Okay, it says draw and write to solve, explain your reasoning. So we're gonna do a, more of our draw to solve. So we have 60 plus 12. Well, we learned that we can write, write our problems across, but we also learned that we can write them up and down. So I want us to write it up and down because it's usually easier for us to solve it looking at it this way, okay? Up and down problems are easier because we've learned that when we line up our ones and we line up our tens, we can add going down. All right, let's see what we get. So. We can draw a picture for this. There's lots of ways that we can solve this. Okay, so we could draw out 60 and then we can draw out 12. Remember, not 60 little circles, right? But we would do our longs and our ones for that. So we also can solve adding down. So let's draw a picture to go with this. So we have 60, so that's how many tens? Six tens, one, two, three, four, five, Six. Then we have 12. Oh, 12. How many tens? One ten. How many ones? Two ones. Okay. How many do we have all together? Well, let's look at our ones place first. How many ones do we have? Two ones. How many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's our, what's our answer? 72. So she picks 72 blueberries. Now I also want us to look at this, right? Remember, we can add going down. We cover up the tens place. We look at the ones place first. Zero plus two is two. Six plus one is seven we still get the same answer, right? 72. So what did we do when we solved it, right? We drew a picture to solve. We also added going down. So we're not gonna write anything in this line. This line is just for explaining how we got our answer. So, and since we're doing it like this, we're just gonna talk about it instead. So we got 72 because, right? We added our tens and our ones. All right, let's look at our next one. Yuri collects 21 cans for the school food drive. Leo collects 36 cans. How many cans do Yuri 
and Leo collect. Hmm, so let's think about that again. Yuri collects 21 cans for the school food drive. Leo collects 36 cans. How many cans do they collect? Yuri and Leo collect. So that's how many do they have all together? What kind of problem is that? A plus problem. So we can write that problem going down. 21, 36, right? We want to make sure that they're lined up. So you have your ones place and your tens place. Right. My first graders, I would like you to pause the video, solve this problem, right? I wanted you to draw it out because they said draw and write. So draw it out. Okay, how many tens? How many ones? Okay, and find your answer. Find out what is 21 plus 36. When you're finished, hit play to check your work. Alright, let's see how you did. 21 plus 36. Well, if you drew that out, two tens, one one. 36, three tens, six ones. Alright, now we look at our ones first. How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ones. How many tens did you have? Count all your tens. You had five. So what number did you make? 57. Okay, and we look at this, right? One plus six, seven. Three plus two or two plus three, five. 57. So hopefully you had 57. If not, you might want to pause and check your work. Okay, so we did that, right, by adding our ones and then our tens. All right, look across the page. Draw and write to solve. So again, we are going to draw out our work. Right? We're going to make our problem, do our longs and ones, okay? We're gonna do this one together. Ty receives 48 geese in the field. Then she sees 17 more geese in the sky. How many geese does Tara see? So let's look at this again. Tara sees 48 geese in the field. Then she sees 17 more geese in the sky. All right, so we want to see how many does she see all together? So we're going to add that. So let's make our problem. 48, 17, put our line underneath, right? Our plus problem. Make sure you have it lined up for your ones and your tens. Okay, now we have to draw it out. So let's make our 48. Remember, if you need to pause at any time because I write too fast, go ahead and pause. All right, 48. So we have one, two, three, four. Here's my eight. One, two. Okay, I did my 48, four tens, eight ones. Now I'm doing my number 17. One ten, seven ones. Okay, if you need to pause, go ahead. Because I want you to see what we're doing before you hit play, okay? All right. I'm going to start on my one side. There's a whole lot of ones there, isn't there? So let's look. How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen ones. Woo! That's too many, isn't it? Can you have fifteen ones? No. In the number fifteen. Look at that. Which one's the ones place? The five's in the ones place. 
What do we do with the 10? Move it. So we're going to move that 10. Ooh, put it over here, right? Move it to the other side. Right? And if I was to circle this, right, I would circle, see, my 10, right? That's a group of 10. That's what I'm moving to that side. All right, now how many tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six tens now. So what number did I make? My six and my five, 65. Okay, so I have 65 geese. Let's take a look at it in this problem, right? At my 48 plus 17, if I start with my ones place, eight plus seven. Well, that was just what we did here, right? Eight plus seven is 15, right? We solved that eight plus these seven, all together was 15. We can't put 15 here, right? So we put our five ones and our one, our one 10 over here, right? Do you see our number 15? We split it up, kept my ones, Move my tens. Now I add the whole thing. One plus four is five, and five plus one more is six. And that is what my picture down here showed. Remember, I counted these. I had 15. I was like, nope, that one's got to move over there, right? And if you're working with pencil instead of pen, after you move that one, you can just erase it, can't you? Right, because you took it and you went, whoosh, plopped it over there. All right, and then you added all your tens together to get six. So 65. All right, my first graders, I'm gonna read this one and then you're gonna solve it on your own. Jade paints 35 circles and 45 triangles in art class. How many shapes does Jade paint? So let's look at that again. She paints 35 circles and 45 triangles. So they wanna know how many of these all together did she paint? That's a plus problem. So let's line up our numbers. 35 plus 45. Okay, all right. You are going to draw to show your work. Draw your 35, draw your 45, and then see when you add the ones. Hmm, do you have too many? If you do, what do you need to do? So go ahead and pause, draw this out and solve. Hit play when you are ready to check. All right, if you're hitting play, you drew this out. You're ready to look and check your work. All right, three tens, five ones, four tens, five ones. Okay, then you counted your ones and you found that there were 10 and 10 was way too big, right? So what do we do? We keep the ones place, we took the tens place, and we moved it over, right? We made another one. When you counted all of these together, you found that there were eight, right? One plus three is four, five, six, seven, eight. So your answer was eight tens and zero ones. That makes the number 80, right? When you added going down, you saw that five plus five is 10, but that doesn't fit, does it? You gotta put your zero ones down there, your one 10 up at the top. And then you found one plus three is four and plus four more, four plus four is eight, All right? So just be careful. Again, if you're using a pencil, when you move this one, right, you can either cross it out if you want to. Then I can put my 
my pen through it, or maybe you just want to erase it since you're putting it up here. All right. If you need to pause to fix something, go ahead. If not, I'm going to keep going. It takes 10 hops to get across the yard. How many hops does it take to get across the yard and back? All right, so let's think this through. It takes 10 hops to get across the yard. So if we're going all the way across the yard from one side to the other, how many hops does it take? 10. But now they wanna know if it takes 10 to get all the way across it, how many hops is it gonna take to get back? So if it takes 10 to go this way, how many do you think it's gonna to take to go this way? Another 10, right? If it takes you 10 hops to get to here, when you go backwards, it's gonna take you that same 10. So how many hops is it going to take for her to go this way and then this way? What do we have to do to these two numbers? Yeah, we need to add them. So what is 10 plus 10? That's a doubles fact. Some of you just know this because you know your doubles now. 10 plus 10 is, you know it, 10 plus 10. And look, if you don't know it, for those of you who don't know it, zero plus zero is zero. One plus one is two. Did you get 20? Some of you just knew 10 plus 10 is 20. Excellent job, especially if you know those doubles facts. So it takes her 20 hops to get all the way across and all the way back. Looks like a fun pogo stick. <laughs> all right, you ready? I'm gonna turn the page. All right, and we have another word problem at the top. Julian sells three books of tickets for the school fair. Each book has 20 tickets. How many tickets does Julian sell? So let's think this through. Three books of tickets. So let's make, let's just draw that out. One book, two books, three books. Oops, yes. I made a book around the ticket. Each book has 20 tickets. So this one has how many? 20. This book has 20, and this book has 20. How many tickets does he sell? So we have to add these numbers, 20 plus 20 plus 20. Well, let's start with 20 plus 20. Let's do the first two, okay? Think about it this way. Look, we line them up going up and down, right? That can help us. So zero plus zero is zero. What's two plus two? Two plus two is four. So these two together equal 40. But are we done yet? These two together are 40. Do we use all the tickets? <gasps> nope, we still have to add 20 more. So we have 40 plus 20 more. So now we have to think, right? And if you're not sure about this, right, we can even draw it out. One, two, three, four tens, zero ones, 20, two tens, zero ones. How many is that all together? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 tickets. Six tens, zero ones. And look, if we added it up and down, we would get the same thing. Zero and zero is zero. Four plus two more, or five, six. Sixty. All right, go deeper. I have some red roses and pink roses. I have 14 red roses. I have eight more pink roses than red roses. How many roses do I have? Oh, so let's go back and look at that again. So she has some red roses and pink roses. So let's do R for red, P for pink. All right, 
I have 14 red roses. So in, for R, we have 14, right? 14 are red. I have eight more pink roses than red roses. So wait, pink has eight more. So we need to add how much? We need to add eight, right? 14 plus eight. So it has 14, there's 14 red, but pink has eight more than that. So we have to add 14 plus eight. Well, could we draw that out? We could, couldn't we? We've done this before. So we have 110, four ones. And then we have eight ones. Okay, wow. 14 plus 8. So look at all these ones. There's a lot of them. How many ones are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 ones. Wait a minute. Can we have 12 ones? No, that's too much. So we can keep, right? Keep the ones. What do you do with this 10? What do you do? We move it, don't we, right? Move that 10, say whoop, get rid of it, move it over here. Now, how many 10s do we have? One, two, two 10s. So we made the number 22. Now let me show you this over here, right? Eight plus four is 12. So we put the two, just like we counted all those ones and got 12. Two, the one goes over here. One plus one is two. So there are 22 roses, okay, 22. So remember when there's all those ones, right? If you have a big number, two digit number, like we did here with 12, we keep the ones, but we move the 10 over, okay? Because we can only have ones in the one place, right? Once we get a 10, got to scoot it over. All right, my first graders, I'm going to read this last one. You're going to solve it. Ella sees 27 red hats. She sees 28 blue hats. How many red hats and blue hats does Ella see? Circle the number that makes this sentence true. So think about this. If she sees 27 red hats and 28 blue hats, how many does she see all together? You need to add these two numbers together. 27 plus 28. Use this space over here. Line them up. Draw your picture. Find out what's your answer. Circle it when you find it. Okay. Solve. Hit play when you're ready to check. All right, if you're hitting play, that's because you solved this. You're ready. You drew your picture out. You were ready. So we had 27 plus 28. Maybe you wrote it down like this. Then you drew it out. 27. So two tens, seven ones. Okay. Two tens, eight ones for 28. Okay, then you counted all your ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You had fifteen. But wait a minute. You can't have fifteen, right? You kept the five. You move this one. So I'm gonna cross this off. You're gonna move that over here. How many tens do you have now? One, two, three, four, five. Five. So what number did you make? 55. So you should have circled 55. If you added it going down, you saw that 7 plus 8 was 15. You kept the 5. You put the 1 over there. 2 plus 2 is 4. Plus 1 more is 
five. All right, my first graders, you are going to try this on your personal math trainer.